How we doing? I'm doing great, and I can't get over just how much I love my new camera. It has the ability to record all the way up into 8K, but unfortunately, YouTube and an app that I use for editing my videos don't really like anything over 4K, so I'm gonna try and keep these to what they call ultra high def, or maybe just you know standard high definition. Right now we're recording in ultra high def, and if you're playing at least 1080p, I hope that that ocean is just popping. We are at Neptune State Park. That is the Pacific Ocean. I'm just south of Yahats. This is day two of our vacation. The first video I recorded was Yule Ham, and this is the second video. And this is my full review of Neon Moon, a collaboration between the wet shaving store, Andy Amaya, and Hendrix Classics, Pete Hendrix. The name of the fragrance is inspired by the song by Brooks and Dunn, Neon Moon. <sighs> the fragrance has absolutely nothing to do with the song or really even the name. But I do love this label. The fragrance, let's talk about it in just a second. Let me kick these shades off. At the end of the shave, uh, I'll have a B-roll showing you a 360 of my surroundings and proving to you that that is not a green screen, then I am really here. That's a question that I get, oh, at least a couple of times a month, I'll get a question whether or not it's a green screen or that kind of thing, or if my shave of the day photos are uh, AI generated. They are not, everything I do is absolutely real. The only thing would be is whether or not I'm using lighting to my advantage. Let's get this going. I have had Neon Moon for quite a while now. When I received Biumo Tattoo Club, that Shave Dad collaboration, is when I first received this. So I've been using this off and on for the last month or more. Got a handful of shaves in on it. I have the matching splash. I'll be using that, that at the end of the shave, of course. The fragrance, and one of the reasons why I wanted to do it here so this is one of those fragrances that you're either going to love or you're not going to like it. So I'm going to do my best to describe to you guys what it smells like and then the occasions that I feel like this would be best suited. If you're familiar with Tide laundry detergent, you might have an idea of what this smells like. I have it on the back of my hand. There's an oceanic fragrance to it. If you saw my Yule Ham or if I've uploaded it already, I forgot my shave bowls. So I'm using these plastic cereal bowls. Don't want to overdo my water here. My G5C from AP Shape Co. So, oceanic notes. There's a lemony iskness to the fragrance. It very much smells, though, like fresh laundry detergent. While I enjoy the fragrance, this is a fragrance that I wouldn't wear all the time. The wife gives it a seven. Emily also gives it a seven. If you're familiar with my content, you know that I always give you guys their take. I've had them smell this many times and I've shaved with it at least five times. This is a very invigorating fragrance, perfect for the morning be great for like the office. I don't know that I would wear it on a night out. The girls with their rating, that's what I was talking about, had a stupor of thought, a brain fart there, I lost where I was going. So the girls, a zero would be hate it, five would be like it, and 10 would be absolutely love it. So with both of my girls giving this a seven, that is a great score. For me, I really, really like it. I do, I just don't know of how many 
occasions there would be for me personally to wear it. I think early in the morning is perfect. Wearing it to work is perfect. I'm a, usually a nighttime shaver. The biggest exception is when I do these videos. Other than that, I generally come home from work and I shower and shave. I'm not a, a morning shaver. Did I say? I just finished applying the Tube 2.0 pre-shave uh, from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. That's the cube in a travel container. I have a mirror right down here. This will be my third use of the G5C. It is low tide. The tide is starting to come back in. Look at that. Pete's base is absolutely fantastic. This will be available February 17th. Right now, as I'm recording this, it's February 10th, so this will release one week from today. Plane flying overboard, did you guys see that? If you love a fresh, oceanic type fragrance, this is absolutely right up your alley. It is a very premium smelling fragrance. I've gotten about six to eight hours of good wear out of it to where the fragrance is still detectable on the skin. My rinse bowl. I'll be using that to rinse my Mula Roca. I brought two razors with me, both Mulas. And it has a first use platinum strangelet. Look at that backdrop, I love it. My new camera is the Samsung Galaxy S24. And I couldn't be happier with it. I'm going to have to add more water before the second pass. I'm still working on developing a scoring system. I want it to be scientific and something that I can apply time and time again and the type of system that if I were to look back on it a year from now or two years from now, I'd still be happy with it. And I'll end up sharing that whole process with you guys in a Rambles, Rants, and Razor video. Um, but under that, pro and I won't give you any details on it now, but under that, I would feel very comfortable with giving this a seven or an eight. One of the things I'll be looking at with that system is uniqueness. How unique is the fragrance? What is the probability of you or myself having a fragrance like it in your den or the likeliness of you finding another fragrance like it? They really don't get much more unique than this. One fragrance that this kind of reminds me of that you can no longer find, uh, and it's, it's different, it's still vastly different, just reminds me of, is the Kraken from Mickey Lee Soapworks. Now, they're different. The Kraken has a bunch of different notes in it. Uh, it, is, it was Mickey Lee Soapworks Barbershop. I'll put a photo of it right up here. I have it, I love it. It's one of the ones that I use every now and then because I want it to last forever. Um, so in terms of uniqueness, an absolute 10. And I'm also going to be applying that to the label uh, that is found on the soap or splash, parfum, whatever. And so I feel like this label is very unique and the fragrance is very unique. And anymore, that is something, because of my collection, right, of two, 300 soaps, 
I have over 300. I'm wanting to get it down to around 200. I don't know if I'll achieve that, but I'll be happy if I can get it down to 250. But anymore, that is something that I definitely look for when buying a new set, is how unique is it? Do I have another fragrance like it? Do I have a, a label that is anywhere similar? And I don't. Andy, it's my understanding that Andy Amaya at wet, the wet shaving store created that label. And I love it. There's nothing else in my den remotely like it. And that can absolutely be said about the fragrance. It is a waker upper. It's very well blended. There's really not a whole lot of change in the dry down. It's minimal. Did I say I have a mirror right down here? I do. I have you guys hanging in a old bushy thing that's actually, this part of it is dead. You'll see that in the B-roll here in a minute. So if you're looking for a unique, fresh, oceanic, with hints of citrus, this fragrance is right up your alley. If you don't like the sound of laundry detergent, you might not want to buy this, but I'm here to tell you that it is, while it does smell like fresh laundry detergent, it's wearable. If it wasn't wearable, I would say it. And that's one of the things that you guys may know that I love about Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, is that they take things that you wouldn't think would be wearable or applicable to wet shaving, and they make it wearable. Now, if you saw my Yule Ham video, Yule Ham being wearable is highly debatable. For me, I don't think Yule, Yule Ham is wearable but I still do marvel at the fact that Doug and Fran were able to create a fragrance that smells like a Christmas ham. And here with this fragrance, Neon Moon, is the exact same thing, except for this is wearable. I think a lot of women will love this on you because you're gonna smell fresh and clean and inviting. Women will love this fragrance on you. Will all? I don't know, but I think that this very much will be the kind of fragrance that you can expect a woman to want to get closer to. And for me personally, that is one of the things that fragrances are all about. Is I want a fragrance that my wife enjoys and that when she smells it, whether she realizes it consciously or subconsciously, it makes her want to get closer to me. And if you're a single guy, you want a fragrance that gets you noticed and then does the same thing. And that's one of the reasons why I personally, when it comes to wearing uh, perfume or colognes, I don't like it there to be too much projection. I don't want, there's two different thinkings with fragrances, with parfums and, and splashes right and that is to where you walk in a room and you announce yourself with your smell that people can just smell you from 20 feet away um, and so you announce yourself I I'm not of that thinking or of that logic I want a fragrance that someone has to discover on me that when they get within my bubble of two or three feet that they can smell it and the hope is is that they like it and then they want to get closer to you and if you're a single guy and you're going out to the club or whatever, I think it's, and you're trying to attract, you know, a romantic partner, right? That it is to your advantage to have it close to the skin. That way when you do get the attention of someone, that they draw close to you. This fragrance would fall into that discovery category to where there's only a couple of feet of projection. It's very close to the skin. 
There is a decent sillage, meaning that when you walk, it leaves a little trail behind you. Think of a boat going through the water and how it leaves a wake behind you. That's sillage. And that is the kind of thing too, that as you walk by someone, they discover you. Uh, they don't notice it as you're approaching, they notice it after you pass. And that's the kind of thing that will get them to turn their head and be like, damn, you smell good. I think that Neon Moon falls into that category as well. Looking to see where I set my stuff. I only brought my one stool with me, my collapsible one from Bass Pro Shops that Lucas, our son, got me for Christmas a couple years ago. I think two years ago, two Christmases ago. The Everlasting Alumbot from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I love that Mula Roca. If you guys are ever on the fence or thinking about it, that is a damn fine shaver. Slightly more, right around medium aggression. Put an aggressive blade on in it. It's like a five is your average medium aggressiveness. Put a, 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 a feather in it, give it a six and a half, six. Put something more mild in it, five, four and a half. I love it. It's slightly more aggressive, slightly more efficient than the R89 or DE89 from Edwin Jagger. It's, it's perfect. It's a great daily driver. I always say this in my outdoor videos, I'll say it again. Normally I would let the alum sit for two or three minutes while I clean my gear. But the effort of time in this video, I'll just apply it and then go straight to my splash. Very lemony off the top, citrusy, a good lemon. It's good stuff, Maynard, it really is. Um, I'm just trying to be very honest with you guys. Um, I don't want everyone to create FOMO and it doesn't do me or the artisan any good if I over hype something and then you buy it and you don't like it. So that's why I just want to caution that what it smells like um, because this is the kind of fragrance that some guys aren't going to want to wear. But I think that overall, most guys will enjoy this fragrance and what i enjoy most about it if i had this you know it's that uniqueness this is so unique that there's nothing else like it in my den and considering you know they have 300 plus soap sets i don't know 70 different fragrances you know uh, solid colognes parfums edts you know right that's saying a lot i mean i think that is saying a whole lot So, hope that all makes sense in that I conveyed my feelings. I don't have any notes, I didn't bring any notes with me, so I'm just going off of, you know, what I remember um, and the limited information I have. Once again, this drops on February 17th, giant crow or raven flying overhead. Hopefully it comes in the screen. That last shape that I did with dragon, he never did. No, he went that way. Has anything flown over my head behind me? I like when I edit the video, I sometimes see things that I didn't notice when I was doing the shave. Um, that last shave review, Year of the Dragon, I didn't notice that some people walked by um, on the road. You may not even notice it, but I noticed it when I was editing it. My go-to post-shave bomb, Mysterium Serum from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Shoot, I didn't say it at the beginning of the video. It was kind of implied. I did not pay for the soap and splash. Everything else in the video, except for the shade brush, my mama gave that to me. Thank you again, mama. But the soap and splash, I did not pay for. That was sent to me for review by Pete Hendricks and Andy Amaya at the wet shaving store. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Pete. If you're familiar with my content, you know that I don't really consider these free because of the effort that goes into it. And so what I do really appreciate is the tip of the cap, them appreciating what I do 
and supporting my channel because I can afford to buy soaps. I'm blessed. I got my sugar mama, my wife. I've got a good job. But the fact that they are sending me stuff before it's released and valuing my opinion, value, valuing the effort you know that I use, that tip of the cap, that really means a lot to me. Um, don't get me wrong, the mon monetary value is appreciated. It absolutely is. But for me, the monetary value isn't the icing on the cake. It, that's not the little big thing. The little big thing for me is Pete and Andy saying, I see you, I appreciate what you're doing, I value what you're doing, and because of that, I wanna be a part of it and I want my products to be a part of it as well. I wanna thank you for joining me out here at Neptune State Park on the Pacific Coast, just south of Yahats, Oregon. This is one of my second homes. Um, I did Tokyo Rose, not far from here. Lavender Planet, not far from here. That was also with Jefferson Square um, from Mickey Lee Soapworks. <sighs> Man, what else have I done from the coast? Oh, well, anyways, now I'm gonna ramble and take up your time when I don't need to. Stick around for the B-roll, you'll see a 360. I'm at 21 minutes, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, damn, I got a beautiful woman. I'm watching her, she's a little closer now. And uh, I count my blessings every day, one by one. And I'm just a lucky son of a bitch, let me tell you what. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching, I really do. I appreciate the camaraderie, the, the comments. I'm so fortunate, I am. Well, now she's out of view. I was gonna show off my sugar mama to you. <laughs> Take care guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you Andy, thank you Pete. Welcome to the B-roll. How did that shave go? I can't tell you guys how fortunate and blessed I feel to live in the Pacific Northwest. This right here is just one more of the many treasures that this area, this corner of the country has to offer. Absolutely beautiful February day. wife and Luna probably won't be able to see her because of the sun but they're down yonder my setup I record these of course before the shave are you familiar with my content you know that well again thank you guys for joining me out here Absolutely beautiful. You guys take care. Thanks once again for joining me at Neptune State Park.